Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the organizing member states, in particular Germany, as well as the World Sepsis Alliance and the International Alliance of Patients Organizations for this important event. WHO recently highlighted the importance of improving the prevention, diagnosis and clinical management of sepsis as a report that supported the discussion of a resolution approved by the Executive Board. Community-acquired and healthcare-acquired sepsis represent a huge global burden that has been estimated to be approximately 31 million cases every year, 6 million of which result in death. One in 10 patients worldwide acquires at least one healthcare-associated infection, which often manifest themselves with sepsis conditions. The burden of sepsis in priority populations, such as mothers and neonates, is particularly worrying. 6.9 million episodes of possible severe bacterial infection were estimated in neonates in Southern Asia, Sub-Saharan Africa and Latin America in 2012, resulting in 670,000 deaths overall. Infections are the third direct cause of maternal mortality, causing around 11% of maternal deaths. That is more than 30,000 deaths a year. The financial burden resulting from sepsis also has a huge impact on health systems and economies. In 2013, it was estimated to represent more than $24 billion for the United States alone. WHO is working globally in the fight against antimicrobial resistance. In fact, AMR is a major factor for patients where infections evolve to sepsis and septic shock. For example, case fatality rates are at least double for healthcare-associated pathogens that are resistant to antibiotics, such as MRSA. Furthermore, it was estimated that over 200,000 neonatal deaths per year could be attributed to resistant pathogens. I commend Member States for the content of the draft resolution on sepsis, which points to the key actions needed to start reversing these shocking statistics. Some successful examples of turning the recommendations into reality at country level already exist and should be highlighted and used as models. WHO is committed to strongly supporting country and stakeholders' improvement efforts in the area of sepsis. As part of our efforts, I am also pleased to highlight that WHO is currently coordinating data collection and research on maternal sepsis in 50 countries worldwide. I wish you a very successful meeting and I look forward to its outcome. Thank you.